If you are under the age of 18, the content of this video is not intended for you. Please stop watching now. Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm back with the March installment of my Work With It Wednesdays, which is a series that I um, am doing that I am using tools, specialty dyes, specialty mixed media products, um, things like that that I have bought but have never used. So I'm trying to, you know, pull out the stuff that I already have and things that I just have not got around to pulling out and trying. So I have all kind of punch boards and the only one that I ever use is the envelope or the one, two, three punch board to make envelopes with. So I think I've used the banner punch board one time and all the rest of them pretty much basically are still in the package. So this week I decided to pull out one of the punch boards and this one is the gift bag punch board and it is the yellow one. And so I decided I'd try something with this one. And I also used a couple things. Hey, Melissa, <laughs> these can be part of the Hobby Lobby challenge that Melissa is holding, which is the Hobby Lobby challenge with Mo2. But I'm not going to use it for that. But I still have to mention that I am using some Hobby Lobby clearance too. But I will have another video with um, some other Hobby Lobby projects that will be more of the main um, focus. But anyway, I continue on. I use this um, leopard print embossing or cheetah print embossing folder and then a bow from here. And then I also use one of these or I'm going to use one of these. So what I have made is a little backpack. And as you can see, there's the side and then you have the little, um, the little backpack straps. And then I put just a little um, piece of paper with some foil there across the back to separate where the two go. It is closed with Velcro. And you can get quite a bit in there. So I saw this tutorial. Um, Helen Griffin, actually, who does Simply Made Crafts, did a tutorial probably about three years ago making this. And I just thought it was really cute. And it was a little different than the normal, just the plain gift bag. So that is what I am going to um, show you quickly how to make. Also wanted to show you, this is the paper that I have used for both of these projects. This was a hot buy paper pad. Okay, so here is the punch board and this is pretty, pretty easy. So you need a piece of paper that is five by 12 inches. And if it is going to have a top and a bottom, um, it needs to be, the print needs to be this way. Like for instance, on here, these have faces on them. You can see some of them. So I have made sure that the faces were going up. So this way was the 12 inch piece. So you need a 5 by 12 inch piece of cardstock. You need a piece that is 5 inches by 3 and 5 eighth inches, which is going to be your flap. This flap here. And I've embossed this with some gold paper. Then you need straps that are, that are 4 inches by 1 half inch. And then you score them an inch on each side. And that will create your straps. So pretty simple um, to do. 
and pretty quickly you can crank several of them out once you do the first one and you know how to do how to, uh, what to do but here is a start line that is in yellow so you put your paper in and you line the edge up with the start line now if you have a directional pattern you want the top to be down here okay so you line it up here you punch it and then this is going to use the large bag so there is also a horizontal line here that you score and then as i said this is going to be the large bag so i would use the large line to score and then i'd score on the horizontal now be careful you do not want to score too hard or too deep because you can easily tear your paper which i did on my first try so once you have done that you move this long score line to that start line and then you line it up and you punch and this time we are going to use this triangle so you use a triangle this way you use the triangle this way and then there is a line here that you score down and then there is a side line that you score and then again continue on with the horizontal so now you move this furthest line to that start line here you line it up and then you punch again now we need another wide side so we're not doing anything and we're going to go back over here to the large line and score down that line and then score the horizontal line again then we move this line all the way back over again to the start line line that up punch it then we use the triangle one more time so we score around the triangle and then we score down the triangle and we score horizontally and then we go and um oops i forgot a step let's get back up in here i forgot to do the side score So we've scored this way, this way, this way, this way, and then you need that side one. So then you bring that side score over to the start line, punch it, and then that's all you do. So we're done with the punch board. So this is what your piece is going to look like. You need your scissors. We're going to cut this little piece off. Because we do not need that. So then basically, you're going to fold your lines. That horizontal line that you scored. We're going to take this in and just angle it a bit. Matching that score line where it ends. So then we start folding our score lines. Now this one that we made the triangles with, we fold in. And then we kind of fold those little triangles. Then we fold this way. So see, now you have the bag where you could see what the bottom of the bag is going to look like. You do the same thing with the other side. Get those triangles. Fold 
here. So now, basically, you just put the bag together. And it's just pretty easy to glue. You could use whatever adhesive you like. I like to use wet glue for my bags and boxes because um, I know they stick. Or you could use some extra strong, of course, um, score tape or something like that. Just make sure it's something that is going to stick and it's going to last. So right now, I'm just using some tacky glue basically because I have it out and um, it dries pretty quickly. So... You put your pieces together. Make sure you got it all evened up. And you can use a bone folder to for your finger. And then give that a couple seconds to adhere. And you have the makings of the bag. So then, of course, you just fold in your pieces. And I fold mine with the seam in the back. So if the seam is in the back, then you make the flap go towards the back. So um, you can put glue however you like to make sure you have enough glue in places to make it stick. Keep in mind that on this first one that's going in, it's not, there's an opening here, so you don't need to put glue there. But on the piece that is going to overlap, then yeah, you put your glue across the top and on the sides. All right. Then make sure your box is square. However you want to do it, if you want to do it like this, and make sure it is square and flat, you could do that. And then it's just convenient to use this bottle, since it's here, getting glue on my hands. Use this bottle to kind of press it down on the inside. Okay, and then you could also continue with that, or sometimes I use my ruler to press it down too. All right, so there you have the basic box shape, and you could fold it up as much or as little as you like. Um, you could do several things with it, but now we want to add in the top. And it helps to bend it just a little bit. So you can determine how far you want the top to go down. Um, you could have it just go down a little bit in the front or further down in the front. And how much you want the bag to be open. I mean, you could technically do it to where it closes and the bag is that shut tight but since it's supposed to be more of a backpack kind of thing then I would not do it all the way I'd leave some of it out like I did on this one so on this one I took it down about two inches I think that works so I'm going to lay this down here Cover glue over two inches of it. And you do this however it works for you, but I figured I could just lay it down and measure it and put the glue on it in that two inch space. So a little bit there. 
make sure you have your back piece and then line up the glue right under the top there and then make sure you have it straight kind of press it down and then use your hand on the inside to kind of press it make sure you're still even while that glue is still a little tacky you got a quick minute depending on the type of glue you use so continue to press it down you can use your bone folder you can use a ruler whatever you want to do you can use your fingers just make sure you're making sure that it is adhered now, depending on the kind of glue that you use, if it does not dry quickly, you want to let this dry. And then you curve it around as much as you like. So here you can see try and make it even. So, kind of like that right there. So, I'm putting kind of like, not really a fold, but kind of getting my paper kind of trained right there. So, then I have a Velcro dot. And I have them stuck together. So, peel the top one off. Just eyeball it in the middle. Pull the back piece off and then make your adjustment to close it. And kind of push them down. That one is a little uneven, but it still closes. Now, there are a couple things that you can do. Um, I want to do this time, I left it like that, but you can do something a little different. You can um, angle the corners if you want and have them come like this actually why don't we do that i'm gonna freehand this and see what it looks like hopefully it will turn out okay Okay, that's just eyeballing it freehand. Now you could do it a little bit more accurately. And as a matter of fact, I think I will take it up just a little bit because it is slightly off. There we go. Close enough. Then for this one, I am going to put this little strip here. 
to cover the separation. A lot narrower. And then once we get that on there, we'll add our straps and a little decoration on the front and that's it now granted once you like i said have done it a couple times you can start getting more creative you could do it a lot quicker and you could crank these out for several things they could be you know gifts for co-workers they could be um little favors for parties You can make them for, you know, um, favors for showers, all kind of things. You could put little handles on the top if you want to make them more purse-like instead of putting the handles back here for the backpack. So several different things that you could do. And when you get that on there, you could also stick your hand in there and Press it down or stick a bone folder in there to make sure that it's adhered. So you got your straps. And then you put your glue on the end. And then you... And eyeball it where you want it. If you don't like eyeballing it, you can measure. Oops. And then just hold it in place. And it bent up a little high for where I wanted it. Okay, so then you hold it in place, let it get adhered. You get your next one. Get your glue on there. Get them as even as you can. If you get glue on the shiny part, you could use an eraser and get that off. get it here good takes a little longer with the shiny the shiny paper then again you can hold it down like this and give it a little pressure And then, yep, as I said, with this shiny paper, <laughs> it takes a little longer for them to permanently adhere. So, just keep that in mind. With the regular paper that's not shiny to shiny, it doesn't take as long. In the meantime, we have this little embellishment here. It says enjoy. 
we can add that right there for the front. Close the front of your box. And then I think for these two, I'm going to add a little bit of ATG tape to help it stick first. And then add some glue around it. That way it'll help it stick quicker so we can finish this video and you can go on about your day. <laughs> so we're almost done. So with your straps... Give it a little leeway so that it's not totally flat and it's still not dry yet. Maybe I have a little too much glue on here. Maybe that's the problem. In addition to the fact that there is shiny paper to shiny paper. So basically, as you can see here, I have it where it's curved. So I think I'm going to have to do the same thing with this. Wipe this off. I'll wipe this off. Put some ATG tape here. Help it quick grab. And just remember with the glue on the shiny paper, you get a paper towel, you can pretty much wipe it off. Oops, sorry. Hit the camera. All right. So let's try this this way. Still not holding on, still. Sorry about that. I should have thought about this with the sticky paper. This is what happens when you do a tutorial live, folks. <laughs> and you haven't done one in forever. Okay.
that's going to take a while to dry. But now that you've sat here and watched all of this, <laughs> I want to say thank you so much for joining me on a work with it Wednesday. And I truly had to work with it this Wednesday. But I think we're almost there. We're going to have to work with this just a little bit more. But you get the idea of what it is supposed to do and what it looks like. So this is kind of the finished product. We still have to make sure we get these down to stay. But that's my work with it Wednesday. My two little boxes. Thank you for your patience. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you again next month for another edition. You have a great and very, very blessed day. Bye-bye.